Hey guys, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to easily open your Minecraft single player world so that friends can join your game. This is a super simple method that uses the Minecraft LAN feature in the game, which also means that you and your friends have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. If you're not, I would recommend checking out a server hosting service, which I have linked in the description below, so check that out. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is launch Minecraft. Um, I'm using the latest release, which at the time is 1.20.1 but this process will work in any version of Minecraft as long as you and whoever you're playing with are both in the same exact version. Once you've loaded into the game, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is obviously load up into a single player world. So I'm just gonna set this to creative and load into the game. Now that I've loaded into the game, all I have to do is press escape to open the pause menu and click open to land. So now you can set the game mode and the settings for whoever's joining. So I'm gonna put them in, in uh, survival mode with cheats off and I'm gonna click start land world. Now you can see in chat there is this five digit number and you're gonna wanna make note of this because your friend will be needing it to join your game. Now, back on your desktop, you're gonna wanna go down here where it says type to search and type in CMD and click enter. After this terminal pops up, type in IP config and hit enter. Now, we are looking for the IPv4 address, so it should be under this first entry of information. I'm using Ethernet, so here it shows up under Ethernet, and if you're using Wi-Fi, it should show up underneath your Wi-Fi network, but we're just looking for this IPv4 address in this first section here, which in my case is this number right here. So I'm going to copy this because my friend will also be needing this. Now I have loaded up Minecraft on my friend's computer. So once they have Minecraft running, go here to the multiplayer tab. And you can see here my LAN world that I created on my own computer has shown up. But oftentimes this is not the case. And if you can't see this here, then all you have to do is go down here where it says direct connection. And once you get here, you can tell your friend to put in your IPv4 address that you got on your own computer, which in my case was this number right here. And then following that, put in a colon. And then after the colon, that five digit LAN number that I got when I opened my single player game to LAN. So in my case, that was this number here and your numbers will most likely be different. Now once you have all this information entered correctly, and make sure you check over it to make sure that's right, go down here and click join server. And as you can see, there I am. So hopefully those steps weren't too difficult. If that didn't work out however, and you got an error message saying that the connection timed out or some connection error, then hopefully it can be fixed with one simple method. What you're gonna wanna do is go back to your desktop and go down here where it says type to search and type until you see firewall and network protection pop up. And once you get here, go into private network and turn off this private Microsoft Defender firewall. Now you should do this on both your computer and your friend's computer to make sure there's nothing blocking communication between the two computers. Now once you've done this, you should go back in and try these steps over again. And if that still doesn't work for you, then I will have a video linked above and in the comment section below with troubleshooting tips that will walk you through everything you can do to make this process work for you. Once again, if you and your friend are not on the same Wi-Fi network, I also have a video on how to set up a free server. And I also have a link in the description below to a server hosting service that makes it all super simple and super easy. All right, well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this tutorial worked for you guys and that you're now able to play Minecraft with your friends. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave a comment below and I will get back to it. And if it worked for you, it would be awesome if you could like the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.